but well, Johannes, what a fantastic night this has been, and what a remarkable season for a fabulous filly, Zakava. Yes, she really is an exceptional filly in a, in a very, very good year of racehorses. How long ago did you know that she was something quite exceptional? Uh, Alain Duroyer, her trainer, uh, really had identified that, that quality very, very early on. And that's why he took the decision to run her from a maiden and go straight into a Group 1 race. Now you said tonight that how special she is. Not only does she trace from Petite Etoile, which is the family's uh, great mare, uh, but she also carries part of the name of your daughter. Yes, uh, Petite Etoile, when she went to stud, only had one daughter. And uh, I named that filly after Zara. And uh, Zara had a good race career and went to stud and had a large number of uh, black type winning fillies. <laughs> I'm sure. Princess Zara, you are part of your father's team as far as organizing the matings and looking at the breeding of all these horses. And you were part of this mating with Zaminda, who was the sire of uh, Zakava. Why Zaminda? Of all horses, why Zaminda? His, um, his paper was, the paper with her mother was very, very nice. He makes really lovely um, pedigrees with our horses. And um, the final decision always rests with His Highness. But in this case, it was, I think, a combination of inherent speed, ability on the race course, a nice physical horse, Zaminda is a very nice horse, and a family that was tending to produce very fast horses. I mean, Zakia was a very fast filly, so it was bringing speed to speed. But I think Dad's decision ultimately led us to this wonderful horse. Well, it's been a remarkable success story, but I must ask you one thing. Now, when I was reporting for the Daily Telegraph, after the Prevo May, you said to me, I know what went wrong. Now that filly was lying on the side of the gate. She was reluctant to start. You said to me, I think I know what went wrong. Can you tell Daily Telegraph readers exactly what that was? Well, I, I, uh, I think what actually happened was that they had wanted to encourage this filly to leave in a state of relaxation from the gates and not to be tied up as from the beginning of the race. Secondly, uh, I think that she had, in a sense, matured and therefore was not as quickly as she would have been as a two-year-old into her pace. And one of the basic premises we worked with was not to put her out of the pace at any time in the race. But in the arc, when she came out of the gate, I mean, your heart must have been in your mouth when you saw her. Oh, she almost whipped around through the tape. That's true. Uh, the arc was a pretty difficult situation to watch. The Valme was even more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, congratulations to you tonight Thank and you. to you, Princess Sarah. It's been a magnificent success. Thank you very much indeed.